know what time it is. How it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. How it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. How it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. How it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. How it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. How it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. Good evening. <laughs> What's going on out there, family? I, I see I see a couple of you have shown up. I know, I know we took a break. And it's always there's always some rust that we gotta kind of kick off because it, people are not used to the time. They're they're like, oh yeah, Kirk's on a break. No, I'm not. I'm back. And I'm excited about our guest tonight. So do me a favor for the for the few of you that are with us, just drop something in the comments. Let us know what's going on. Talk to us. Where are you watching from? How has been your week? What was going on for your holidays? Also, uh, tag a friend and share the link. Uh, bring some more people in here, man. I'm going to tell you right now, this is not one you want to miss. Uh, somebody that I absolutely respect and is somebody whose advice I go to. Um, somebody whose channel I am a subscriber of, even if we were not friends, uh, is, is our guest tonight. I'm excited to have her on. And we're going to dive into a couple of different things, but I've got some announcements. So now normally, normally, normally I've got news, but I don't have news today. Today I actually have announcements, announcements. I want to share with you a couple of items. And, and I'm just realizing even as I put this up that I've, I've started this on the wrong, on the wrong slide. 
<laughs> it's one of those things, right? When you are when you're when you're rusty, uh, you know, you, out of practice is what is the term, right? You 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 do things out of order, but we'll get there. We'll get there. So listen, one of the latest videos we have on the channel. I see you out there. Uh, Simply Ball Dropping Podcast is with us. Uh, Trista is with us. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Love it, love it, love it. Gary Jones is with us. I mean, some of our mod squad is showing up. I saw Dar David Hunt is in the chat as well. Excited for that. Man, I, I'm, I'm letting you guys know now that there is a link in the description on YouTube and probably on Facebook as well. I think I put it on Facebook. Yeah. No, uh, but we'll make sure you guys get a chance to come through, hang out, uh, but also want to make sure you guys know about some of the things that we are going to be pushing in today's show. Yes. Vertical video. This is what I want to say to you. This is the, I'm pointing the wrong way. This is the, the latest video on our channel, uh, native vertical streaming and recording from Ecamm and Restream. So I wanted, wanted you guys to know about that. That's the video that dropped yesterday on our channel. And I want to share that with you guys. Yo, vertical, vertical video is here to stay. And IG is opening it up for streaming with vertical. So think about that. You know, I was, I was actually testing with a friend's account who has access to that live producer platform on on instagram so we tested streaming get this f using ecamm right so both of us were in ecamm full width right 16 by 9 then we were pushing that into uh, using virtual camera into restream live studio right restream live studio and in restream live studio we had that cropped in for 9 by 16 so we had that vertical and use that to go to to, to Instagram while we were still streaming the wide, the, you know, the, the, the 16 by nine version to the other platforms. We we're just kind of making it work. So many different little things that are possible. And we want to share some of those kinds of things with you. So definitely check out that video. Uh, really good things to come, uh, coming down the pike there. Uh, two, two different people that we had on the podcast recently. Steve Worthy is the one that's the most recent and, and really enjoyed that conversation with him. But, and, and of course, we had Jeff C on as well. Listen, both of them have exclusive, exclusive offers specifically for the HIW audience. So we want to make sure you guys get a chance to take advantage of those. Do not miss them. Do not miss them. David Harvey is in the house. Thank you so much. I see you out there. Seesaw Studios says, what's up, everybody, man. It's good to see folks chiming in. Listen, if you're watching, don't, don't be quiet in the comments. We want to hear from you. Come on, go and type something. We want, want to hear from you, but yeah, definitely check these out. <clears throat> Great resources. These, these are people who give of their time and, and their, their expertise. Um, and really want to make sure you guys get a chance to, to check them out, check out those conversations, the conversations themselves are excellent. But, but then of course the cherry on top is that they both provided something special for the audience. So I want to make sure you guys get a chance to check that out. Listen, every now and again, they asked me to go and speak somewhere. <laughs> so I want to make sure you guys know, um, that, that the go live con is coming up. Uh, Julie Riley from StreamYard actually connected me with Alex, who's the organizer of this, this conference. And we got a chance to, to chat about, how to position yourself as an expert. So I'm excited about that. Excited about that. Um, it, there's, this is going to be a really cool conference. It's happening next week. So if you're interested, go livecon.com, go livecon for conference.com slash sign up is the link. Definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, this will be going out in the newsletter later this week as well. So, but just wanted to make sure you guys are aware um, the, the, the list of people like Chris Stone, several others, several people that I've had on this show, several people that I follow and respect are, are speakers at this conference. So I definitely want to make sure you guys are aware of that as well. And then uh, we're going to get into this a little bit more later in, 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 in our show today, of course, with our guest who is the teach is the, is the instructor. I say, is that the term? I think so. Master class. Yeah. Instructor. But the, the instructor for this is going to be our guest today. And that's Loria Petrucci. We're excited about that, but listen, how to generate $5,000 a, a month from your videos. Not like I'm signing up, like our, make sure you guys are there like this, 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 you don't, do you, do you want to make that kind of money? I would, I do um, live video produce video. Listen, this is, this is what it's all about. Uh, the creator economy is in full gear. Uh, if, if any, if there was anything that could be said, uh, that we were taking from 2022 into 2023 is that the e creator economy is not slowing down. It has not missed a beat. And so there are some proven practices and strategies that we want to learn to be able to take what we have and not, not just monetize it for the sake of getting rich. I want to say that, uh, but from the, from the perspective of 
you if you want to make this your full time gig, if this is something that you want to do, not just as a passive thing where it's like, oh, OK, cool. A little bit of you know money came through. No, no. We want to actually have this be a thing. We want to make sure uh, we're registered for this and we are going to check that out. The second to last thing that I want to share with you, of course, is you have been asking for the update series and it is coming. We're going to launch in February <clears throat> with two of our master classes, one hour a piece. We're going to do an update for I'm calling it Masterclass 201. Right. So StreamYard 201, StreamYard uh, Ecamm 201. Those those are both going to be in February. So look out for dates for that. You'll be able to register. And for those that have purchased the the course, you will already have a little bit of a discount on the masterclass because we're bundling the update series with the existing course. So it's going to be really cool. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of updates since we've done this course. So I'm excited to kind of get in there, do that update with you live. And then, of course, chop that up later to add it to what we have in that course. I see you in the comments, Sammy Superstar. Thank you so much for coming through. Excited to have you hang out with us tonight. David Hunt says, excited for the opportunity to hear Luria today. Ah, David, you and me both. And, and listen, the topic could not be more relevant. How can you make money Listen, even with one viewer, listen, we're not going to, we're not going to belabor the point. We're going to get her on screen. We're going to chat for a little bit. Uh, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta have some conversation first. Um, and then we're going to get right into the meat of what we came to do today. It may not go an hour or, or it might go over, you know, me, I'm a talker. I'm, I apologize in advance, uh, but we're going to get, we're going to have some fun. So definitely tag a friend and let's get into the show. How it all works. Let's welcome our guest. Yes. Ah! <laughs> You're back. <laughs> I'm, I'm back. telling you, I am excited <laughs> to have you back. Excited, excited, excited. And I, I, I said this in the pre-show, but I have to say it again for everybody. I love that color. I don't know what it is. It just kind of <laughs> pops. It just jumps out at me. I'm like, oh, wow. You got a guest here today. <laughs> That's so okay, awesome. Can I, do you want a little secret? Yeah, let's hear the secret. Okay. Um, the <laughs> secret is, so I, I started wearing a lot more yellow and like kind of bright colors because um, it was when we run ads on Facebook, my oh. ads manager, Dave Peterson, he has been very, very clear with me. Like when you wear yellow, the ads perform better. <laughs> What? Look at that. Listen, this, Isn't this is that free crazy? game. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. That so is free they, game, man. Wow. My, my team was like, you need to wear more yellow. And I'm like, I can't. I, I went to the mall. I went to Kohl's. I went to all of the places trying to find more yellow in my wardrobe. I'm like, come on. Man, I <laughs> am. Crazy. I'm like, wow, that. You know, that actually does make sense. It just pops. And maybe that's what it is. Because yeah. as soon as I saw you, I'm like, ah, oh, that color. It just, it just yells at me. I love it. So that's yeah, awesome. Like you got to stop awesome. the scroll, right? When you're doing videos, that's you got to stop the scroll. When you're doing ads, you got to stop the scroll. So stop the scroll. find your stop thing. The scroll. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh my goodness, that is good, man. Listen, guys, 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 for the for the for the for those of you that are with us tonight, man, make sure you have your pen and paper ready cuz the, listen, the, the gems are already dropping. I mean, we're we're already get, just in our in our early banter tonight. It's it's getting crazy, man. But Luria, man, I want to I I wanted to, I'm asking everybody this question at the beginning of the year, just 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 at the beginning of the year. So once January is done, I'm going to stop asking this question. Okay. And this one is a surprise. I'm letting the audience know. This one is a surprise for her. She did, she did not get a chance to prepare prepare for this one but <laughs> all right so here it is here it is as as a veteran content creator share with us one of your goals for 2023 as there's no right or wrong to this right this is this, this is an easy one but i just i just yeah. feel like it, it's one of those things where it's like man if if if, if when we share with people what some of the things or even the mindset behind putting together a goal um it can be it can be inspiring yeah. for others. So talk to us. <laughs> I'll tell you, my biggest goal this year is balance. Um, balance. I, <laughs> that is my word for the year. Come um, on. And it's like I, you know, I've been doing this for seventeen years, and I kind of identify maybe as a workaholic. <laughs> Which is maybe just a little. <laughs> maybe, maybe. 
<laughs> uh, but you know, like as as I'm having the conversations with my audience about making sure that they're building a business from their content that is going to lead to long-term sustainability, it's really been become very, very important to me to build mm. on exactly that for my own life, right? And so uh, I'm doing things in the business that I've literally never done before to be able to finally see self-care, um, right, right take priority in my life. And I'm sharing that journey with my audience as well, because I think it's something we all deal with. Yeah, and absolutely. There's like, it leads to burnout, right? It and does. I, and I was burnt out in 2022. And I don't want that for anybody else. I that's right. why I've become so passionate about balance and self care and creating sustainable business from your content so that's that good. we don't have that. That's really good. That is, that is really good. Oh, wow. That's I'm, I'm, I might, I want to, my, my word, one of my words for the year, one of my words for the year is, uh, is stewardship, right? So the things that yeah. I have been given, I want to be, yes. be a good steward of them, both the information, yes. the talents, um, the opportunities, right? Even the platform mm -hmm. and the influence. Absolutely. I want to be a good steward of them. I, I don't want people to leave me and say, ah, he's just trying to make a buck. No, I, I yes. really, want to take into account people. So that's one of my words, but I'm going to have to add balance. <laughs> I was just going to have to have put, put balance somewhere in there as well. Cause I just think that's, that is so well, good. I mean, that's, yeah. Well, it's just, that's part of the stewardship that you're talking about, right? Exactly. Is like, yeah. is, is taking care of what that's we have. Really good. And yeah. Our bodies, our own mental health is, is required to be able to do what you're do looking what we to do. do. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of the goals that you want to set. I mean, if you're, but if you're not well, you, you, you yeah. can't even do the work to, to attain them. So absolutely exactly. got to take care of self first, man. That's, that is, that is so good. And I really hope that somebody's somebody, even if you just came for the first few minutes, you needed to hear that you needed to hear, like mm -hmm. put yourself as a priority. Some of, one of my coaches said to me, how many times on your calendar do you appear? Oh man. Yes. <laughs> that's a good, I love that that's question. A, that's a, that's a, that one will that will stop you in your tracks where you're like, what do you mean? How many times do you plan yourself into your own day? Like that's that says right. a lot. So mm -hmm. so I definitely want I'm I'm excited about them. I got a follow-up question. And I, I again okay. this is one of those where no right or wrong here. Uh, but I do think it helps people to just the question itself, it just kind of frames out for folks. What are some of the things you need to be thinking about as you get into this new year? But I will, I love asking, especially veteran content creators who have spoken at many of these conferences, what are some of the must attend conferences for you? <laughs> ah, <laughs> um, two of my go-tos are social media marketing world um, and also vid summit. Um, vid summit. I find wow. the two together really are um, pretty powerful. Yeah. Yeah, those those are on my list. They check a lot of boxes, um, not just from yeah. a, a professional development standpoint, but also from a networking standpoint. Mm -hmm. In fact, we met at Social Media Marketing World in March last year, so that was yes. a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and, but, uh, I, an awesome time. That is, <laughs> it's almost, it wasn't even like a conference; it's more like a party. So, yeah, yeah was good. <laughs> I, I should probably add podcast movement to that one as podcast well movement. as okay I, as. Given that I'm in the podcast hall of fame from that uh, friend's book, um, <laughs> listen, they listen. haven't. <laughs> no one here, like man. Dust your shoulders <laughs> off. That's what we're talking about. Get in there. Listen. <laughs> I not love the it. Humble brag or anything. <laughs> no, listen. It's it's not it's not humble if it's a fact. I mean, it's not a brag if it's a fact. I mean, it's just a fact, right? But no, no. But that's a good one. I have I have not been to podcast movement before. It's been shared with me by several colleagues, yeah. friends, people that I look up to. So I'm 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 might I'm gonna you know I've got a list of them that I'm trying to whittle down because you can't go to all yeah. of them. You just can't. You no, just you can't. can't. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, that's that's definitely one of the ones that's on my list for this year. Podcast movement. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, you'd yeah. really enjoy NAB as well, but. Oh, from from the tech side of things, yes. like that's where all the new gear gets released and yeah. all of that more like production so, stuff. But did NAB pass already or no? Or, no, that was CES. Yeah, that's CES in January, which is yeah. also amazing. 
but as more general consumer tag. General cons um, yeah. And then uh, NAB is usually in April or March. Okay. 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 Good, 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 good. No. Yeah. I, NAB. I, so w when I was in broadcast, like traditional broadcast, not, not yeah. as a creator, but in traditional broadcast, I did get a chance to go to NAB once and it okay. was, it was a bit overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know how, if anybody has been to NAB, but if you, you're a geek like me, if you're a tech head or, you know, gadget yeah. junkie like me, you get in there and you're like, Oh no. <laughs> uh, and you and know, none of it's for sale. I want to be clear. Is it, right. They're just showing, yeah. they're just teasing you with this stuff. It's like one totally. you know, couple days of just torture because man, everything yeah. is just like, whoa. So, but no, I, My, I have not been in a long time. So that's a really good okay. one to, to add to the list as well. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I used it. to do the, the, like the one year I did the official NAB stream. Um, nice. And so literally just everybody would come to me and bring their stuff. So that was really nice. <laughs> I remember when you guys did that, by the way, I do remember oh, when you guys did that. That was absolutely phenomenal. In fact, that blew my mind because it's just like, man, live streaming is just going to take over. And oh, look at where we yeah, are today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's a final follow-up, I promise. Now, after this okay. one, I have a question for the, oh, for the audience. I'm up for How, whatever. This is, this is a tee up for, for what we want to chat about in the, in the second piece, but how, how important is professional development for you and your business? Um, one of the mm -hmm. things that I always ask folks, again, with that question, like, you know, how do you, how do you prioritize yourself? How do you, when you assess your strengths and weaknesses and, and how, what is your plan of action to work on those weaknesses in terms of professional development? Um, oftentimes, especially coaching clients don't have an answer for me at all. Right. So mm -hmm. but oh, I, I, I know that, you know, as, as course creators, uh, people who do master classes and stuff like that, we, 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 we sit on the other end of the, the table and we get to share and help people level up. But and even yeah. for ourselves, how do we refill? And I always love asking that question. So what does that professional development look like for you in, in your regular day and, and things like that? Mm. That's a great question. I, you know, let's, let's just have some real talk right now. Sure. None, sure. Of, us, none of us can do it on our own. Right. Yeah. Like, and I, like I think back to the early days of when I started back in 2005, while I wasn't paying for coaching at that point, we were all a family and we were sharing and we were helping right. each other, out, right? Like literally this journey that we are on is such a lonely place to be already. Yeah. yeah. You can't do it all on your own or you will burn out and you will quit. Like literally <laughs> I've said it over and over and over, right? Like Quite you'll literally, just yeah. quit. Yeah. <laughs> so for me, it's extremely important that I invest financially, time, mentally, emotionally, all of that in my in my professional development. Um, and so I have, you know, two to three coaches that I go to at all times where I'm, you know, looking for specific help, looking for coaching, looking for development to and it's been life changing. It's been, the business has changed because of that. We had our biggest revenue quarter last year uh, in Q3 ever in 17 years. Wow! And I would say it's directly related to the development that I, that I put into myself. Um, you know, and I, I've had to learn to accept the word leader, right? Like that's, that's always felt like a very vain place to, to put yourself. To oh, um, yeah. yeah. But as the owner of a company that has, you know, seven team members, like I, that's who, I, that's what I'm doing. Right. Exactly and so it. I right. yeah. embrace that and step into that role in a bigger way than I ever had before. That is so good. Uh, I just, I love, you know, the, the, I saw David's comment there. He says, I love these questions and Kirk and he says, Lurie, I'm absolutely loving these answers. Aww. And one of the reason for a lot of them is I, I firmly believe in the phrase that says success leaves clues and mm. 17 years in, I mean, honestly, you've got a lot of success, but, but that doesn't go without having the pitfalls and the failures as well. And when you were with us last time, you kind of shared one or two of those, <laughs> but, but no, nobody's stories is good without them. In fact, I think uh, a lot of times we learn more from those 
how we come out of those those failure moments than than sometimes yeah. how we come out of some of the some of the successes and uh, some of them can be even directly linked. So that's the reason why I asked some of these is because yeah. it's 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 just so good to be able to hear. I think. It, it, one person says, you know, one person says to me, man, you, you, you talk very highly of coaching. I'm like, just because I know where I would not be if exactly. it weren't for the people who have been pouring in. And, um, quite honestly, I just, I just, yeah. It, what would life be like? Or, you know, I would not push yeah. myself to these limits. And when you think about every, every individual, it doesn't matter. The discipline it could be in the finance arena, marriage and family. They could be a professional sports. They have coaches. Nice that call yes. out of them greatness. And I just, I always want to make sure the folks know that coaching is not a thing where it's just like, oh, I'm your coach. Oh, I just want to be able to, no. <laughs> it, there's, there's a very real connection uh, there and, and people have a vested interest in your success. Uh, not, not just from, mm -hmm. from a monetary standpoint. So, and I also like to say this, if your coach doesn't have a coach and fire that coach, because. Exactly, 1,000% I'm on board with that, right? <laughs> fire that guy. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. So vital to our success. And, and, you know, to your point of, of the failures and how you come out of that, you know, I've, I, I, I also have a therapist. <laughs> no, no, this, this, this is not a bad thing. This is not a bad no, thing. This is, not at all. I, I, this is this, this is the cheat code. I want to just tell somebody out there. This is the cheat code, getting the therapist. Totally. Like it's been, it's been huge for me together with my business coaching. Right. And all so, right. uh, and, and while she doesn't coach me on the business side of things, like the mindset and the yeah. hurdles that we face as creators, like um, one of the things that I had to work with her on in 2022 was, I think I told the story about like losing 2 million followers. Right. Um, having to start last over. Time, yeah. Having to start over from scratch. I realized that that came with a massive amount of guilt and shame for me mm -hmm. right like mm -hmm. i i wasn't diving into that callie on my team you know pointed out to me one day she was like you you don't talk about this stuff enough and actually one of my coaches then followed up with the same words <laughs> like you, know, you don't talk about your story like why and and i, yeah. I had to really work through the the shame part mm -hmm. of yeah. that and that has led to me just being 1000% open about that because yeah. it's not shameful. And in fact, I, I found gratefulness in it because there it, is. it showed me what everybody is dealing with. Like my, my original start was very quick to success, right? Like mm -hmm. I, I was one of the first people out with video. I had 2000 <laughs> viewers this day, right? Like I was quitting my day job in five months and I was doing it full time. Like it was very successful, very quickly. Mm. And when I had to start over from scratch, I got a view of in the now and here world, what creators face. And that yes. has helped me shape how I help others, right? And so, so I'm very grateful for that now. That's so good. I, I, I often, I love telling people, you know, in mining the gold in your own story, right. And, 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 and then enrolling in the college that none of us will ever graduate from, which is getting a PhD in you, it requires mm -hmm. really getting into the, and I mean, this is past coaching. It really does require like, some couch time, but it, yeah. it requires you to delve deep on some of the things that make you tick finding some of those punctuation points throughout your life and, and, and what, how, what is the value from those stories that you can turn, turn around and quite literally monetize? I, I'm, I don't mean that to, no, it does all have no, to be No, not in money, a bad way, right? Quite literally, uh, people are willing for, to, to pay for the cheat code. They want to avoid all of the things that you had to go through. So now yeah. I want to get into your, your, your space. I want to get into your course. I want to get into your, you know, group, your mastermind, whatever it is, because in there, you're going to be able to share with us vulnerably, right? These are the things that ex that I experienced. And this is the reason yeah. why I'm sharing with you these tips um, that are going to get you across the line. So it's, that's, yeah. that's, 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 that to me is just so awesome. So awesome. So awesome. Listen, I could talk about this kind of stuff literally <laughs> all day, but, but I want to throw this, 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 I want to throw this question up here for the audience. This is, this now is for you, for all of you that are watching out there. And we're excited that you guys are here. You're quiet. I haven't seen you typing, but I know you guys They're are just here. Listening. Yeah, just listening. <laughs> what is it? What metric? Just, just 
throw it in the chat. What metrics do you use uh, as a benchmark mm-hmm. that says you can now monetize? Like, is it is it a YouTube metric? Is it uh, is it a TikTok metric? Is it a is it an Instagram metric? Is it a Facebook metric? Is there a, is there a certain amount of followers? Is there a certain amount of activity or views on a particular video? Is it engagement? Certain amount of likes? What do you use as a metric? that says, I'm now ready to monetize. I would love for you guys to be able to kind of chat with us a little bit there. I'm going to answer the question uh, for myself on screen. Um, I will tell you that I didn't have, I I, I had a very basic metric for myself when I first started on on YouTube. And that was just, I I wanted to, uh, I wanted to get some traction in terms of, of, of regular views and regular subscribers, right? Just wanted to see progress, not necessarily a number. I was just watching to see, okay, this month we had this amount of subscribers this month that has grown a little bit. So I was just kind of watching. That was my metric. Um, And I thought that was pretty technical and pretty, you know, balanced. Um, But what I realized, uh, maybe month two, when somebody hit me up and was like, hey, I saw your show, and I want you to produce mine. Um, And, and you know, season one, episode six, I want that design. Can you do that for me? And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm monetized. <laughs> and it's just like, wait a minute. Um, I've got a client now and now I, I'm, wait a minute. I never, I never, I didn't, I'd never thought about that portion of what, you know, the, the opportunities that would come because I'm, I'm out here and I'm doing this kind of thing. I never thought about that aspect as being a component or even a metric for monetization. And so, you know, even as we talk about all of those things and some of those numbers are really good numbers to follow, but uh, the truth is you could be monetized day one. (laughs) What about you? I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. What about you? What was your experience in terms of this, this question? You know, I think we all tend to focus on that vanity metric of subscribers, right? And we think that that equals success. And there are certain kind of benefits, right? A a thousand subscribers on YouTube, you can enter the program and you can start getting monetized on the platform, Platform. but there's on platform and there's off platform. And if you are relying fully on on platform monetization, you are building a very risky business. Like it's not okay. And so that (laughs) off platform and on platform is is vital to work on both. Um, There are two metrics that I look at in terms of this question. And that is, is the right viewer watching and engagement. Like those two things mean way more than any subscriber count on your channel. Wow. That's good. Uh, And there, there are a couple of stories I can share around that if you want. Sure. Um, yeah, absolutely. So when I first started, like we were talking about, Rush started over, right? Um, I had to go, for, go from 2 million to like watching like two people watching, right? Like when I was going live, it was like two people, three two people. people. No oh. burst, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> and... You know, I, I think I was I think I was at like twelve people watching a live stream when this happened. Um, and I was super excited, like twelve people, yes, finally. Oh, <laughs> I've made on. it. Yeah. But one of those people was Orange County Choppers. One of those people was GoDaddy, right? Like those like boom, right? Like those are the right people right. that can help you monetize. Um, it truly, truly does not matter how many people are watching. And one of my students actually, um, Andy smiles, she's a bookkeeper and she wanted to go live and she wanted to start creating content. She had no online audience whatsoever. And, um, I told her like, Andy, you're you're just not going to have any live viewers, right? Like, but that's not really what matters. So just show up, do the show flow as I talk about it. Like, and she went live and she covered, she took a post, it covered up the view count so that she didn't get in her own head about it, Nice, which I thought was a brilliant move. And yeah, um, yeah, right. Like, Mm. let's get our ego out of the way. (laughs) Let's go. Right. Yeah. (laughs) And so she showed up, she delivered her content and she acted as if a hundred people were watching and she didn't have any live viewers. Right. And so like, that was not a thing. She ended the stream. She went on about her business the next day within 24 hours, one person watched that who was the right Right person person. 
$3,000 contract, boom, because of how she showed up. She literally called out Andy for saying like, you just delivered amazing. Like that was amazing in video, right? Like, wow. I could tell you talking about. So she hired her $3,000 contract that turns into a bigger contract later, snowballed into referrals. So that one video with zero viewers, one viewer bam. the next day, bam, bam business, <laughs> right? Like it's, it's eye-opening awesome. when you can allow yourself to get the ego out, out of the way. The way. <laughs> you know, this, this is so, it's so crazy. I never thought about this before until you share this story. I went live on Amazon because right, I was playing around with this new platform. I was like, all right, let me yeah. see what this is about. I wasn't multi-streaming at the time, so I was just really streaming on, the, on Amazon. Didn't have a lot of followers mm -hmm. at the time and i i want to say that this particular show i must, may have had like four or five people watching but you know i do my thing i i i can banter yeah. with myself i can laugh at my own jokes and <laughs> well, i just i just did my own thing um and i maybe not even a, not even a day later i think it was later that same day i got an email from a guy named mario uh from a, a little company called sure and he's like, hey, I saw your your live show on Amazon. I, I love your energy. Just love, you know, what you're doing. And I and I saw your mic in the shot. And I just was like, man, is there anything that we can do? And so there's like a whole a, a, a whole uh, <laughs> a whole bookcase full of stuff from from Mario behind me over here. That's and that awesome. all the, like I said, you just like you said, it's like there was four people watching, but one of them just happened to be the right person, and that yeah. led to a relationship that uh, that has been really paying off. So it, that is that that right person and the engagement mm. that right there. That's gold. That's absolute gold. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that's absolute gold. I um, and I know you said you have another story. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, the, those were the the couple stories. I mean, I could sure, probably sure, talk sure, sure. all day, but like I think the engagement factor, right? That's it's not something that platforms um, really showcase or have any good data around, and so right. it's it's more difficult to pay attention to it, but you just got to use your human eyes at that point. Right, right, uh, there right. are more factors like retention and a number of comments and things like that, that you can pay attention to, but that engagement, like you don't have to, you know, I find, I find that the 500, you know, viewer mark, like regular subscribers or whatever, like at that point you can really start to, um, monetize, right. um, I've seen it happen under that, right? And as long as they're engaged, sponsors will pay. Um, the engaged viewers will buy from you if you offer yeah. a course, right? Yeah. It's all about engagement. It's all about That's loyalty it. and community. And if you can focus on those things over the numbers, you'll find way faster success. That's good. Yeah. There's, there's solid gold there. I, I, I'm hoping that, you know, for the audience that is watching, and I, I see your comments out there as well, David Harvey says, I, I, I say start with, mm. let's, let's get this on screen. I say start now. You will always know more than someone else who is watching yes. today. Yes. That's, that's a good one, Absolutely. David. Thank you so much for that. Um, um, David Hunt is agreeing with you. He says, get the mm -hmm. ego out of the way. Get the ego out of the way. <laughs> that's good, David. Thank you so much for that, for sharing there. One of the one of the things, um, of course, you know, the, 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 you've, you've kind of sort of already answered this question, but I'm still going to mm -hmm. throw it on screen because it's the title of our show. I mean, this is quite literally the title <laughs> of the show. How can creators start making money with as little as one viewer? And you kind of you outlined that with this, that last story so perfectly, but I, I'm pretty certain you, you've got more you want to share there. So I wanted to just kind of pose it to you and see uh, sure. where our conversation goes from there. Go ahead. Yeah, I think, um, you know, knowing knowing and putting trust into yourself that you have something to offer is I think the biggest hurdle that people face. Right. And mm. so um, your skill, your knowledge, your passion can be turned into coaching, a course, a membership, um, consulting, like whatever that may look like for you. And I, what I see so often is that people just don't have the trust in themselves right. to turn that viewer into you know revenue right and again it's not about making money it's it is about making money and it's not at the same time it's about the yeah. impact that you have it's about creating that sustainability for yourself so that you can show up better and 
more engaged for your viewers and help yeah. people more. Um, you know, so while we're talking about making money, it's at the end of the day, it's bigger. It's about bigger impact. It's about yeah. having yeah. that, um, what you're here to do, like, yeah. however you look at, whether you look at that as your mission, whether you look at that as your purpose, exactly. however you Exactly. You know, one of the things that I, I, I love here, it, a lot of times people get this thing mixed up in that is like, oh, well, you guys are, you know, creators and, you know, you, you stream and you do these things. And so, you know, this is kind of your lane. But what about for the regular mm. person? And, and I'm, I often hasten to add, like, the stories that we're sharing are not about streamers. Um, that story that right. she just shared, that's about a bookkeeper. Uh, yeah. These coaching clients and folks that these are coaches, authors, consultants in multiple different disciplines and fields. Many of them, actually majority of them are not in the content creation realm. They're using content creation and streaming um, as a means for discoverability, as a means yeah. for um, getting their unique brand and message and flavor out there. I mean, uh, there's... There's just nothing quite like having your own space on the World yeah. Wide Web um, and having your own content that's out there as well. I, I, I met with a, uh, a team today that we did a session with and the guy was like, man, listen, I do, you know, search engine optimi optimization. I do uh, branding and, you know, having all those things come up right for for people. That's my business. And he was just like, I, I commend you because I, when I did a search, your stuff came up first. I, that's why I booked you. I was like, wow, look at that. Nice. Uh, it's not even something I was trying to follow, but one of yeah. the fringe benefits of having content out there, um, mm -hmm. content you're, you're linking back and forth between your site and other places is that it creates that web. And, it, and that's what boosts you. I mean, most people don't know how all that stuff works, but the more mm -hmm. content you have, especially on multiple platforms, when you're, when you're searchable, you know, this, this is the type of thing that, that starts to happen. That's why I always like to say that it's, 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 it's about uh, establishing yourself as a thought leader in a given space. It's about yep. um, uh, 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 creating an audience, growing and engaging an audience around your topic. But lastly, it's about creating a, almost a steady stream of referral-based opportunities. I like to say opportunities yep. rather than income. Because it's what you make of it, right? I mean, sometimes the opportunity may not look like a check deposited in your bank account, but the opportunity might be a speaking engagement where you can push your thing. And so you may not have ever even gotten that speaking engagement were it not for your content, were it not for your platform, right. were it not for your live stream. So, you know, there's just there's just so many different ways that you can think about this thing. And we want to make sure that yeah. you guys are, are thinking outside of just, well, it was a fail because I only had two people watching. But if it's yeah. the right person. <laughs> totally. Yeah. It, it's, it's funny you talk about the web, the, right? Of like creating your own little web. I had a call with a, with one of my coaches, actually. And the first words out of his, mind, his mouth were, well, I, I know a little something about you, so I don't really have to ask because you're not hard to find. <laughs> he just Googled me, right? I was like, yeah, that's kind of easy. And that might sound scary, but that's exactly kind of what you're talking about, right? You right. get to no, it choose to share out there. That's it. But it is, it is pretty vital at this point. I think I might have told you this before, but I had a makeup artist in New York um, recently that told me she lost out on a big gig because she didn't have a social presence. Right. And yeah, so like I, we, I, we're facing that that's, reality. That's, now. And, 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 and what did I was, I was talking to, I went on a, a class trip, David, I see your question. I'm about to, I'm about to throw it on screen. In fact, I'm gonna just put it up there now while we talk. Um, but uh, yeah. And, and that is the link, by the way, don't, don't let Luria tell you anything different. The link is kirkarnusion.live <laughs> slash LSP. That's the link to her masterclass. Okay. Kirkarnusion.live yes. <laughs> slash LSP. That's the link. But I was talking to a couple of, a couple of dads on this, on this uh, seventh grade trip that I went on and their, their sons are both baseball. And they're uh, a seventh, eighth grade, so middle school, not not high school yet. And they were saying to me, "He's like, man, I'm I'm really looking for somebody who can get this." There, so I go to so the the dad says to me, "I go to all the games, mm -hmm. I record the content, but I just don't know how to put it together. I don't know how to, you know." So if I could find somebody that would just package it and mm -hmm. create a channel for my son, because we're seeing that 
the offers for scholarships, the the acceptances, the opportunities, yes. they all are related to having a presence. Those kids that have that presence and, and have views, even if it's, it's not much, but as long as there's a presence, if I can go online and find, you know, your RBIs and you actually see footage of, you know, you hitting that those that that's a differentiator. So I'm hearing you loud and clear. And, and I'm, I'm just thinking of that in so many different aspects of our world today. Um, one yeah. of the predictions, uh, Ross brand, you know, Ross brand. So Ross yeah. brand does this, these predictions. And one of the things I was saying to him, not even for 2023 for 2022, my prediction was audience will be currency. Audience will mm-hmm. be your ticket to play on certain playgrounds. You just, you just won't be yeah. able to get in if you don't have an yeah. audience. And so, we have to think about that. You know, I, I, mm-hmm. I, you, I know you do this as well. We work with CEOs of fortune 500 companies who've managed millions of dollars and tens of hundreds of people. And they have zero presence whatsoever. Right. I mean, these guys have stayed, stood on stages and have been paid tens of thousands of dollars for a 45 minute presentation, but they've got no website. They've got no, you, you know, there's just nothing. And, and that, that's, that's not going to be a thing very much longer. Mm-hmm. Folks, we, no. we all are going to have to figure that part out. I, I know I've talked enough. <laughs> so no, I, to this, is, this is all great. <laughs> One of the things you said earlier about um, you, you, people will be able to find you because you'll be searchable. Oh, yeah. India Delgado was good. <laughs> people will be able to find you, but this is where, you know, that, why the thing that causes you to come live and share has to be bigger than money. It just has to be. Cause I, I don't want people to, to see me and say, Oh, that's the guy who's just constantly trying to get more clients and constantly. No, I'm the guy that's just, I just want to see you win with live video. That's what I want to do. I want to be known as that guy. I want to be, <laughs> that's, that's what I want to be known for. And mm-hmm. um, I think that's, that's one of the things that really helps to differentiate. Um, a lot of folks, they're, They'll come and say, man, how can I support? Because you've already helped me, right? Your, your exactly. content has already helped me. <clears throat> this is a, this is a, also a great one. I'm, I'm just throwing some random things in here right now because we're pretty much done. But I, um, <laughs> I, I did, a, I do a presentation where I share with folks. Um, uh, this is, I'm not even going to go into the presentation, but I, there's a piece of the presentation where I was like, I was in a clubhouse room and we were in there talking about things that we can do for our communities, Right. What are some, mm-hmm. you know, things that we can do for our communities just as, just as a, a way of to add value and to say thank you for this monthly subscription that you've signed up for? And everybody had some really cool ideas. And you came in and said, you know, this is great and all, but one of the things we have to recognize is that the people signing up for membership is in response to the fact that we've already helped them. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was just yeah. so profound um, because we don't give people, you know, oftentimes we don't give them an opportunity. You put a video out there and somebody who's searching for that thing at 2 a.m. in the morning finds it and it helps them solve that issue. And they're just so grateful. And so yeah. a lot of times their response of gratefulness is like, let me just sign up for the membership. I don't really care what they give me because I've already received the value in the free content. I just I always want to share yeah. that with folks. It's the money will come if you're seeking to serve, if you're seeking to solve a problem for people. Yeah. yeah. It, it reminds me of like a lot of my, my students who are already in my membership, right? Like they, they joined for those reasons. But if I, if I release something new, they're like, they buy and like, they literally don't even know. I'll get an email afterwards. Like, what did I buy? <laughs> like, what, what, <laughs> what, what, how do you know what you want? <laughs> that happens so often in my community. Oh my They're just, gosh. I'll just buy whatever you have because they know that I am there like full yeah. out inside yeah. of my membership. Also just in my content, like I am yeah. showing up as big as I possibly can so that you get what you need. And it's really, really important to me to challenge people in a very loving way, um, you know, but, but push them beyond their comfort zone. And that's, that's really at the core of what I do in my content and my Mm. courses is really that challenge. Like, okay, yeah, let's, let's get you success with live streaming. Let's get you success with video and audience growth and building a business. Absolutely. Yes. But yes to core, all of the things. <laughs> it's all about pushing you beyond the limits that you're putting on yourself yes. and un- so really unleashing all of that. So good. 
So good. Look, in the in the um, in the time we got left here, talk to us about the mm -hmm. masterclass. Um, I'm going to put yeah. it on the screen in just a second, but talk to us about the masterclass. Okay. And for everybody that wants to go to the page, uh, the website is kirkarnugent.live slash LSP. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yes, go, go use his link um, to register. So the masterclass is all about understanding the four growth phases that literally every content creator goes through to make $5,000 a month directly from your videos. And this is a, a key thing, right? Like we've been talking about this whole process. You put a video out there, somebody sees it, mm -hmm. they want to buy from you right like you can do it on platform Simple. and we can have off platform and we're going to look at both in your strategy um but there are four phases that literally everybody goes through to start from zero all the way to 5k a mm -hmm. month and so at that point when you have achieved that 5k it's kind of like a magic number you're able to start offloading things off of your plate you're able to start hiring you know That's like it that process of getting stuff off you so that you can focus on growing further and faster um, by doing only the thing that you can do um, or the thing that only you can do. Yeah. <laughs> I think I said well, that backwards. <laughs> this, that's, yeah, no, that's essentialism in, in a nutshell. Is it, what are the things yeah. that I only can do, those mm -hmm. are the things you need to be doing. And I, it was well, I was talking right. to somebody the other day, they were like, you don't edit your own videos anymore? I'm like, no, I, I never liked yeah. editing videos. Never did. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> done that like, in years. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, no, 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 no. I, that's, yeah. that's not a thing for me. So yeah, I, I have a, a team and they are really yeah. good at it. So I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, like other people are better at this stuff than we are, right? Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. and we Absolutely. have to embrace that as part of, we are all wearing so many different hats. And when you first start as a content creator, you are wearing all of the hats, right? Until you start generating revenue and can, can pay somebody to take that stuff off. But what I see the m biggest mistake people make is, when they're starting out, they're trying to do the things that I'm doing 17 years later, right? Yeah, exactly. Like it's totally different. <laughs> um, and so really this masterclass is designed to give you a path forward and to understand what you should be focusing on where you are in your journey, whether that's a bit more advanced at the beginning stage, wherever you are, I'll kind of identify each phase so that you know the things that you should not do and the things that you should do and how you get past that phase into the next stage of growth. That's good. Yeah. Fam, listen, I, I, I believe firmly wholeheartedly in the professional development. I, I, I was uh, chatting with some close friends and, and the reason you'll, it'll become clear why I said close friends, because we were going over our budgets. We're comparing notes. You, yeah. you don't do that with, with people who are not close friends, but <laughs> <laughs> they when the guy looked and he saw a line item in our family budget for professional development. He was like, professional development. I was like, yeah, man, hmm. how do you get better? You know? Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> You got it. <laughs> you're Just not, hope. you're not, you can't hope for it. You, you got it. You got a budget for it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm, so he's too. like, that is, that is a real, that's a real cheat code right there. I said, yeah, I, I mean, I'm glad to, I'm glad that helped, but no, I mean, it, this is, this is right in that line. I really feel like, man, if, if for, for those of you who are looking for something at the beginning of the year, this year, you want to take your content to the next level. Um, there you go. David Hunt registered. I love that. David's but, registered. Whoop, whoop. You, you want to take and your content to the, yeah, go ahead, by go the way. Huh? Like, I just want to make sure that this is free. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, 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 that's very, I wanted to make sure that people knew that as well. So yeah, yeah. by the way, by the way, guys, it is free. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a really good cost. But, but I also, I also say to folks, even when you go to these free ones. Yes. Bring your checkbook with you. you Cause there may be something there you want to, you know, grab. but that, yeah. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that said, but there's just and, at the beginning of the year, we'll just, gonna, there's so many things that you're going to want to do so many things you yeah. want to, you know, get off the ground. This is a great way to kind of reprioritize and understand what, what the strategy is for yourself. I think this is going to be a great one yeah. for a lot of people. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pop in myself as well. So I'm excited. Yay. About this. And, and I think that that's a really important point, right? It is free. And what I see so often is that people don't treat free as, valuable to them to their own self right and so they don't show up live they don't put in the work they don't put in the effort and i will tell you this 
I treat these free trainings as if they were, you know, like a paid course, right? Because I'm going to give you my all and whether you, you know, join the next stage and, and take a step further with me, you're going to get so much value out of this, but you got to show up live. You got to be, yep. you know, turn on, do not disturb. You got to yep. like show yep. up and be there and interact with me because I'm going to ask you to, to take some work, you know, to do some work during that. I'm going to ask you to engage with me yeah. and, and show up for yourself. Like this is about investing in, in yourself. You. That's and good. when we say investing, like, you know, it's not only money, right? Like the time and the emotional state is so vital for your growth to see, to see that in 2023, That's along good. with that professional development line. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a, uh... It, you get out of it what you what you intend to get out of it. You know, some totally. people get in there and they're like, "Oh, this was garbage." But you you didn't you didn't go in there expecting anything good. Um, so mm -hmm. that that intentionality, what you what mm -hmm. your mindset is as you go into some of these spaces, whether it's this one or it's another, it, that that has a major impact. Um, that do not Absolutely. disturb is very real. You know, a lot of these things in the virtual spaces is really cool, uh, but a lot of times we because it's i didn't have to fly anywhere i'm not in a hotel room it's not dedicated yeah. space and time because none of those things apply a lot of times we just kind of kind of back off and oh uh, uh, the, the the show is on right i need to iron this thing or the the, the kids stuff need to be done there yeah. there are many of these types of events where i block that time as if i was out of town because exactly. that's the only way that i know i'll be able to really you know, harness the power of it and get some value out of it as well. But I'm excited yeah. for this. I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. I think um, you know, there's, there's something to be said for, you know, starting the year with, with something like that. And I always often when you know, when we have these kinds of shows, especially with a title like that, people might think, Oh, that's clickbait. You know, how can you, how can you start making money with one viewer? No, it's not clickbait. And not only is it not clickbait, if you want to go deeper, here's the class. You, you see, my point is like the, we're, yeah. we're not, we shared with you in this course of the show today, all of the, the, the full blueprint of what you would need to do, the mindset shift that you need to have, how you should show up, what are the metrics you should be looking for? All those details were shared, but if you want to go deeper, here is the class and here's the best part. The class is free. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say, guys. I don't know what else to say. The class is free. So head on over there, go ahead and grab. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Uh, we lost our guest. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Now we're back. Head on over there. Get your David. Can you put that link in the comments for me? Kirkarnusion.live slash LSP It is also in the uh, giant Banco says, how much did I miss? You, you were right at the end. <laughs> we're, we're like right there at the end. We're getting ready to land. But no, Joanne Banco, thank you so much for coming through. We truly appreciate you being here. But David, can you put that link in the comments for me? I appreciate I would really appreciate that. I um, want to make sure that everybody knows that it's not only in the comments, but it is also in the description of the video, both on Facebook and on YouTube. That link is there. I want to make sure you guys get a chance to take advantage of this, this great resource that Luria has put together. And I'm, I'm telling you from experience, some of the things that I've already gone through with, with her and her team, some of the things that I've purchased from them they put their all into it. So they're, they're not, they're not joking around here. Thank you so much, David, for making sure that link is in the comments as well. And, uh, man, I, I think this has been phenomenal. This is, this is, this is, this is, this has been a really good discussion. We've been able to chat and, and just kind of hang out yeah. and, and, uh, catch up a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've been inspired as well. I just, I always like hanging, <laughs> hanging out with you, Loria. So thank you so much for coming through thank and hanging you. out today. Yeah. This is thank you for inviting me and thank you all for showing up and commenting. I love this comment from G Link, if I'm if I'm reading that right. Uh I need to get my eyes checked. The common threads uh I find in both of you are authenticity, passion, and being real. That's why I love hanging out with you, Kirk. Um, and I just appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And G Link, thank you so much for that comment. That's that's <laughs> awesome. I, I I missed your comment there, M Marina. Marina's actually in the Philippines. Oh, Marina. And so she's coming in at, you know, the oh, exact nice. twelve or thirteen hours uh on the other side. So okay. she's actually into tomorrow. But uh, Marina, yeah, <laughs> definitely catch the replay if you can. And and this is Ecamm. I know you're asking what platform are we using tonight? This is Ecamm <laughs> that we're using right now. So um and, and, and I'll get to some of your questions. I'll try and respond to some of those directly myself. But I just want to say a word of thanks uh for all of you that came through and hung out with us tonight. Yes. It's been a great show. 
great way to start back the the new year with with our guest and and of course i want to make sure that everybody gets a chance to take advantage of the master class kirk on urgent.live slash lsp luria thank you so much kirk <laughs> so much <laughs> always a pleasure always a pleasure Fam, listen, I I, I I feel like this is the best job in the world. I get to host this show. I get to bring uh, some of my heroes on and, and share them with us. Like, you know, a, a proud a proud dad almost. Uh, to, hey, guys, look, look, this is one of my friends. This is somebody that I look up to. I get to bring them through and hang out, hang out with them, ask them some of the questions that I know you'd want to ask them. And we're hoping that this was able to provide you with some tremendous, tremendous value. This has been uh, um, absolutely blast uh we're gonna we're gonna lay it down for the night but uh we're excited for some of the things that we got coming up the master class series a whole new series that we're doing in the month of february highlighting uh black creators uh that yeah this is we're gonna do a little twist on that we got an award coming up as well so we're gonna we got some really cool things uh, along with the 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 other uh master class series and other live shows that we'll be doing want to make sure you guys get a chance to catch us on amazon live mondays wednesdays fridays as well wednesdays we have our studio consultation you can send in your pictures and we'll kind of dissect it there on amazon and uh, recommend different things that you can add to your space that will really help you to level up and uh, also we're, we're going to be doing our, our family fun show on fridays which which the family has been joining me for that's a lot of fun as well but man listen this this it, it, this is the this is a privilege for me to to really con continue to you know manage and, and navigate this space with you guys and um, cannot thank you enough for your time, your attention, and for, for the trust you've placed in me to, 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 to kind of manage this ship. You guys have a excellent evening. We want to make sure you guys are, are winning with live video. And as I always say, your live stream is your digital storefront because there's no greater way for people to experience your greatness, your superpower, your secret sauce, than for them to see you do it live. When, you, when they see you do it live, they don't need the, 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 the campaign reel. They don't need the, the ad campaign. They don't even need the taste test. They know that what they're getting is immense value. And that, my friends, is what I want to leave you with tonight. Take care, family.